somos un movimiento Trabajadoras del hogar Mujeres haciendo historia Unidas por un ideal Y construyendo puentes Por la justicia social Conquistando de This is ITWF TV. We are here to bring you all the information and news about the International Domestic Workers Federation Fourth Congress from Belgium to the entire world. So remember, all you need to know about our International Congress is here on ITWF TV. Don't miss any details. Stay tuned. Every five years, Delegates from our global membership come together to elect new leadership. From the 2nd to the 5th of October, 163 delegates representing 88 domestic workers' organizations will gather in Belgium to hold elections, a democratic governance process, as part of the IDWF Fourth International Congress. In mid-2023, during regional pre-Congress conferences, our members nominated candidates to represent them within the IDWF Executive Committee. In this episode, we will give you a brief overview of who they are. So, without further ado, meet our nominees for the Executive Committee. On behalf of Africa, the candidates are Aisa Tasajo. Aisata is the General Secretary of the National Union of Hotel, Bar, Restaurant and Associated Workers, Sintorba, in Niger. Her efforts have ensured that each domestic worker in her union knows what C189 is and knows its recommendation, as well as C190 and how to engage in collective bargaining. Her work has increased the visibility of domestic workers at the national and regional levels. Twande Pidure. Twande P is the General Secretary of Zimbabwe Domestic and Allied Workers Union. He is also an educator, a paralegal officer, and a legal advisor specializing in labor law. His communication, fundraising, and advocacy skills as well as his broad knowledge of domestic workers' issues and rights, have contributed to improve the situation of our sector in Zimbabwe. On behalf of Asia, the candidates are Sonia George. Sonia is the Vice President of the Self-Employed Women's Association, SEWA, in India, which has more than 1 million domestic workers out of its 2.5 million membership. The combination of Sonia's political, practical, and theoretical experience and knowledge proved to pay off, as Sonia has made consistent contributions to international decision-making spaces that moved governments, employers, and allies to act in favor of the workers in informal economy and marginalized communities. Sonia has been working with SEWA for 23 years. Elma Joy Cardona Cernadet, or Jack. 
Jack is the leader of the Hong Kong Federation of Asian Domestic Workers Unions, FADWU, serving as a spokesperson and a case handler for Filipino affiliates. She knows firsthand the challenges experienced by domestic workers as she has been one of them for over 16 years. Her long journey in advocating for domestic workers began in 2007. Since then, she has worked tirelessly to protect migrant workers, fight against discrimination, and promote the inclusion of workers from the LGBTQI community. On behalf of the Caribbean, the candidates are Elaine Duncan. Elaine is the president of the Jamaica Household Workers Union and has been a domestic worker for over 16 years. She has played a key role in the ratification and implementation of Convention 189 in Jamaica. As a result of her outstanding advocacy and organizing efforts, she was the first domestic worker ever across the Caribbean to win the Domestic Worker of the Year Award. Aida Leblanc. Aida has been the General Secretary of the National Union of Domestic Employees, NUD, in Trinidad and Tobago for 25 years. She is a powerful and multi-skilled trade union leader at both national and international levels, combining abilities in advocacy, grievance handling, negotiation, recruiting, and training of domestic workers. As a founding member of the International Domestic Workers Network, she played a pivotal role in the adoption of C-189 by the International Labour Organization. On behalf of Europe, the candidates are Pia Stalpart. Pia is the president of the ACV Food and Services Trade Union in Belgium, one of IDWF's founding members. She has held different positions within her union since 1994. Currently, and for 12 years, Pia has served as a spokesperson and held responsibilities for the domestic work sector at the national level. As a multi-skilled assertive leader, she was part of the Belgian negotiation team in Geneva during the ILO C-189 negotiations in 2011. Emanuela Lortone. Emanuela leads the Philcam Sigil Nazionale Union in Italy, another one of IDWF's founding members. For years, Emanuela has been engaged in protecting the labor and human rights of migrant domestic workers throughout Europe. Her union is committed to the modification of the discriminatory Italian legislation on immigration. On behalf of Latin America, the candidates are Carmen Brites. Carmen is a strong and pragmatic leader who has championed the rights of domestic workers for more than 35 years. She currently serves as a representative of the Household Workers Union, UPACP, in Argentina, and as a member of WIGO's Executive Committee and as IDWF's acting president. Carmen's skills in articulation, alliance building, and social dialogue have led to impressive achievements for nearly 1.5 million domestic workers in Argentina. Ruth Diaz. Ruth is the president of the National Federation of Women Workers, FENAMUTRA, in the Dominican Republic, which has more than 10,000 members. She is also the director of CIFIST, a training center for domestic workers, caregivers, and a leader of the National Health Workers Union, Sinatra Salud. Her advocacy efforts led to the formalization of domestic work in 2022, making fair treatment and decent working conditions a reality for domestic workers in the Dominican Republic. On behalf of North America, the candidates are Doug Moore. Doug is the executive director of the United Domestic Workers of America, based in California. 
He also serves as the International Vice President of the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees and as a member of the IDWF's Executive Committee. His vision of social justice, strong political and legislative advocacy, and successful organizing campaigns have led UDW to achieve significant milestones for domestic workers and to have more than 140,000 members. June Barrett. June Barrett are a renowned care worker leader based in the United States, representing the National Domestic Workers Alliance. They are a certified nursing assistant and professional nanny, reputed as a highly effective membership and base building organizer. June are also an expert on domestic workers' rights and history, LGBTQI plus rights, and immigrant survivor-centered culture change work. And finally, running for general secretary, Adriana Paz Ramirez. Adriana has been the IDWF regional coordinator for Latin America since 2017. In this position, Adriana utilized her 20-year experience as a field organizer, popular educator, facilitator, campaigner, fundraiser, and advisor. Her strategic work has been key to growing and strengthening the Latin American domestic workers movement, as well as to achieving unprecedented victories for the sector in terms of legal protection and public policies. That's all for today. We hope you have enjoyed this edition of IDWF TV. See you soon to share the latest news about our Congress and keep you updated on the domestic workers' global movement. Always united, strong, and in global solidarity. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.